Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, ScooterATVSales.com, subscribers and customers. So I wanted to do an update at our storefront. Now for your out-of-state customers, obviously the supply chain is pretty out of whack right now. And a lot of you are probably finding that out, just uh, making contact of these other online companies. Uh, wait times are long. And the waiting list for inventory has been really, really out of whack. So I probably see this continuing on to the new year as well. So inventory is a very, very short supply. And whatever does come in from the various suppliers, manufacturers, whether it be Tau Tau, Apollo, Vitassi, BMS, it just leaves the shelves very, very quick. It gets dispersed among all the storefront dealers as well as allocated to strictly the online dealers as well. So again, wait times are long still, and you guys are probably figuring this out during the holidays. I did want to give you guys an update at the storefront so you guys know what we actually have in inventory. So this would benefit our local Northern Nevada customer base. Now for you out of, out of area customers, this uh, will give you an update or just give you an idea of what these ATVs look like. If some of you are new to the Chinese motorsports and new to the Chinese brands such as Tao Tao, Apollo, uh, Vitassi, BMS, Coolster, these are the big brands now here in the States. So right now I have in front of me Tree Camo. We have a few of these Tree Camo 125D models. They're 110cc kids beginner ATVs from Tao Motors. Then we have some Vitassi Rider 8s here in Burgundy. I do have a T-Force here in Tree Camo, which is actually sold. Here's another Rider 8 in Camo. This is, these are 125cc kids, a small rider, small adult, ATVs, two-wheel drive, electric start. Now keep in mind, all kids, beginner, smaller ATVs in the China Motorsports, they all include speed governors, which look like this here, safety lanyards here, operate similar to a jet ski plug, as well as a remote fob, which is wireless. You hold in your hand and it can function up to approximately 200 feet. Also here, you can see it's the very nice upgraded the XL DLX Cheetah 125 from Town Motors. They have the standard Cheetah. This is the uh, Deluxe Cheetah, which I like a lot. I mean, for the additional price point, excellent, excellent value. I mean, the steel foot guards. Actually, what I really like also is the Hobbs meter here. As you can see, this meter here, which allows you to see how much time you put on your ATV. It has a really solid rear rack here. There is metal under here with a hard plastic. Now this is for a smaller rider. This is approximately 20, 26 inch seat height. Nice tread, aggressive tread patterns on the uh, tires here, as well as the wheels. Have nice alloy style wheels here, really custom looking. Next to it, we have the Apollo. This is the Blazer 7. It has the much smaller wheels on it, as you guys can see fully automatic with reverse. Now, these are all fully automatic with reverse. And we have another red Blazer 7. We got some X4s here in stock here. We got the red and we got black left here. We got a few of these, sold a lot of these so far, really popular. It's the 28 inch seat height, approximately semi-automatic kickstart. So it's a great learner's, beginner's dirt bike, semi-automatic four speed. Next to it, we have the BMS Pro Premium 125. Has more of that racers, intermediate uh, slash beginners bike. Nice uh, alloy hubs and wheels on it. Breakaways on both sides. This has approximately a 31 inch seat height. Then we got some DB10s here left. Sold a bunch of these, super popular this year here locally. The DB10 fully automatic with electric start. Again, all the dirt bikes from uh, the China Motorsports are all four strokes. We got some ATMs over here as well in black. And also red is the most popular brand and model right now with Tao Motors. It's the ATM 50 A1 City Rider as we call it here locally. These are a great buy, huge value. And then we move over here to the Solana. This is uh, 
supplied by Vitassi as well as Apollo. This is manufactured by Young Fu and supplied by Vitassi or Apollo. R really cool. Again, 50cc, 49cc, same size as the Tao Motors. These actually include a USB port on these. Then we got the DBX1 140s. Been super popular this year. Really nice entry level 125cc dirt bike. Again, kickstart, I mean, what more can you ask for for a dirt bike? I mean, the quality is amazing for the price. Great beginners slash learners slash maybe intermediate dirt bike here for the little bit taller rider. It's approximately a 31, 32 inch seat height. Nice uh, oil cooler here they include. It's a nice added feature here. Uh, get some longevity out of your, your motor system here, engine. So uh, we'll walk around here and uh, just got in some Cougars from Vitassi slash Apollo. I mentioned in the other videos below as well that Vitassi and Apollo are one of the same. We got these Cougars that just arrived here. Can't wait to do a, uh, a video demo on these here. These are the 200. You guys can scroll down on the website here. Actually, I'll place a link below so you guys can check out the details. So these are for the local storefront. They're completely out of stock currently for you out-of-state customers here that wanted to order. But this is what they look like. We did remove the cardboard box. And this is the frame. As you can see, it's pretty banged up by the freight company. This happens uh, from time to time. It's just what you gotta deal with. And these are the 200 Cougar, the sport model, fully automatic. Check this out here, you guys. Check out these shocks that you can see in here. Pull back some of that plastic. So. Pretty excited about setting, PDIing these up here and then doing a demo. So stay tuned for a demo on the Vitassi slash Apollo Cougar, as we call it here. And we'll go back out here. We have three of these left here. As I mentioned, three of the tree camo over here. And then we'll move over to the Rhino, Tau Motors Rhino. We got tree camo and two blue left. Actually, that, that blue we just sold. We got these two here available. And then next week, or actually this week, we have the, uh, what is it, the Raptor 200s. We were able to put our hands on a few Raptor 200s. So locally, you guys, this is for our local storefront. If you guys have been looking for or waiting for the Raptor 200, and I'll place a link below as well for you guys. So you can check out the Raptor 200, super popular. Really nice, uh, large size, full size, ATV, fully automatic. The 250 Rhinos, as you, as you can see here, it has LED lights here. Very straightforward ATV, four-speed manual. Those customers that are looking for some torque or to control their uh, torque and their speeds, this is a four-speed manual transmission ATV, full-size ATV. Nice front and rear rack here. This is uh, where your shifter would be right here. It's missing the foot guard right now. So we've had a customer that was about 300 pounds that actually stepped on it in the center and cracked it. So we've got a replacement coming in. And this is the shifter right here on this side. Just some of the stuff you have to deal with as a dealer. And we got the one here ready to go. As you can see what it would look like here with the foot guard and the shifter over here. So really nice ATVs, very straightforward. Uh, unlike our Raptor, we have the Raptor has that nice digital cluster, really nice. It's the 200 Raptor. You guys should check that out. I'll place a link below. Neutral and reverse position, metal gas cap. Again, front and rear rack, the blue, and then we have the tree camo. So uh, hope this uh, helps you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. And again, we got those Cougars uh, here at the local storefront. I believe they still are out of stock. Currently, Apollo Invitassi of these. Again, uh, inventory is very, very fluid, so keep that in mind. I'm sure a lot of you are finding that out, that are out of the area, don't have a local dealer around you. So just be patient. Again, I see this going through the uh, new year as well. Uh, just issues with customs and just the supply chain is just really whacked out currently. So again, hope all is well. Happy holidays and uh, take care. If you guys need some Tau Motor parts, ScooterATVParts.com. And you guys can find us on Instagram at ScooterATVSales. Take care.